Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. So first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I know I cast forth this apology in pretty much every single video that I film here, and I consider it a, a sincere statement at least, and that of course is in terms of the shot in the frame and all that, um, if anything's cut off, if anything's, whatever it may be, I apologize in advance first and foremost, and uh, secondly, you know, what can you do about it? So. Considering the title here, I imagine you can tell it's one of those slow days where I can't think of anything else worthwhile to review. So I moseyed on over to Nathan's or Sparrow or whatever it may be, and you know we're trying an, an evergreen item, you can say, um, something for any other day. We, you, know, you don't have anything else. So we went over, we bought an overpriced cheeseburger, and uh, here it is um, for six dollars and eighty-two cents. Doesn't doesn't get any better than that, folks. Um, it's their double cheeseburger from Nathan's. I know Nathan's isn't even known for their cheeseburgers, so that's really uh, pushing pushing it right there. Here it is, right here. You can see it, I'm sure. It comes with uh, your somewhat burnt bun, pickles, uh, onions, cheese, and two two uh, patties, I suppose. So that's what we got. Relatively simple, um, you know, but, but simplicity isn't always a bad thing, of course. So we're just going to begin eating, and uh, we'll tell you what it tastes like, and uh, I hope it'll be good. We'll keep those fingers crossed, but I have my doubts. But nonetheless, the double, double cheeseburger from, from Nathan's going in. Ask me why this place is so crowded today. I'm sure I'll be getting more weird looks than usual. And for good measure, we'll take one final bite. For whatever reason, I don't know, I have no idea why, but for whatever reason, I keep wanting to call this Wendy's. I don't know, I guess it's just because I was at Wendy's recently, but... You know, because of that, I don't know, it's just a funny, funny coincidence. On to what it actually tastes like, ladies and gentlemen. All right, as we know, as I said beforehand, we know Nathan's is not renowned for their burgers. We know it's nothing that people ever rave about. You don't see lines of lines of people at a Nathan's waiting for those hamburgers. You don't even, you don't even see people there waiting for a hot dog anymore. You know, at least not at this one. So, it kind of says something. The burger itself, they give you a good size sandwich. I'm going to hold it up for you again, but they give you a good, you know, you can see it's, uh, you know, it's a good portion size. I can't even, I can't critique or bash them on that. They give you a good portion size, and that's, that's a good thing, at least. For the price, especially, it's a good thing. You're getting your money's worth to a degree. But it doesn't matter how much they put on. They could put on 25 patties, and it could still taste horrible. It doesn't make any difference, right? Quantity is important, quality is equally important, if not even more so. So when you when you look at it in that regard, you gotta say, yeah, they put a lot on, so what? So focusing now, okay, we know there's a lot. What does it taste like exactly? Right? What, what does it taste like? The patties themselves are kind of going after that. I don't know, that fake charbroiled, you know, texture that Burger King sometimes does. Pretty much tastes exactly like the Burger King patties. Again, of that, ch you know, that charbroiled, that little bit of a char to it. Um, very dry, not, not juicy at all, very tasteless, you know. It's kind of like two big patties of filler right there. 
dry, tasteless, um, a little chewy too. That little, you know, charbroil fake taste to it, which isn't pleasant. I'll, I'll say that. Um, the onions themselves are onions. They kind of add a little bit of a, a flavor to it, but nothing that's even able to remotely salvage the pretty much non-existent flavor of the, the burger. Um, the cheese itself, you can't, you can't taste. The one thing you can taste is the ketchup. Ooh, the ketchup. And uh, the pickles, I couldn't even get to it, so I'll just eat a pickle now and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Standard dill. Standard dill pickle. As in a little vinegariness, which would have done this burger a great justice. Any flavor. The ketchup, they put a little bit on, that helps it a tiny bit. The onion helps it a tiny bit. But it doesn't do anything remotely close to being able to actually, in terms of proportion sizes, from the burger size to the topping size and everything in between, there's nothing you can really even compare. You can't say, this is going to do it justice, because it doesn't. And that's the simple truth. You have the pickle, you have the onions, you have the ketchup that are desperately trying to give this any sort of flavor. They're just not, it's not working out. Um, and I hate to say that, but it's not, you know, it's just the unfortunate and simple truth. And uh, that's where it stands, that, at that. So, you know, am I, I going to eat it? Yeah, of course, I'll finish it off, but it's not the greatest burger. I don't recommend it, you know. If you got to go there, stick with the hot dogs, which aren't even that good anymore. It's, it's a shame to say, you know. And uh, this burger was $6.82, which I find... I find really just abhorrent, I do, absolutely har harrowing, you know, in terms of, of how much they're trying to charge you for that. This is not a $7 burger. I get to trying to be nice with the portion size and what have you, but it's just, they should just ditch the portion size, even give you a wafer thin patty if it means it's going to be quality, just that's what they got to do. They're not going to do that, of course. That's my that's my plan on saving Nathan's if they need it, and that's what we got. Out of ten, what are we gonna give the double cheeseburger from uh, Nathan's? Out of ten, it's literally just gonna be getting a, a six point one out of ten um, for all the the aforementioned reasons. Again, just poor taste of the patties, which takes up the majority of it. The most important thing there, overpriced and everything in between. So that's uh, that's that. That's what we got. That's all there is to it, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you later, I suppose. Stay tuned tomorrow for the five-year anniversary, special uh, special energy drink review, and also a special VRYW broadcast on shortwave, so please stay tuned for that. And that's all we got. Today's review was for the double cheeseburger from Wendy's, a disappointment, to say the least, but it's what was kind of expected. That's all we got, and take care.